Welcome back everybody. Here we are on the set of CJ's first cooking show in Florida, having a great time. And you know what? When I watch all of our Blackstone videos, and especially videos from our good friend, Bruce Mitchell, the alligator man, I get inspired. Now I love Cajun food, I love eating them. I love to go, go I love going to restaurants like Papa Do's and having that good Cajun cooking, but I admit I'm not from the bayou. But today I have devised a recipe that I call, you ready for this? Ready. Cajun shrimp scampi. Shut your mouth with rice. What? Let's give it a try. Let's get the ball rolling, Cajun style. Okay. <laughs> you ready? How do you roll the ball with like, Cajun um, style? Shrimp right here. And oh. right out of the starting gate, I made myself a mistake. I meant to buy, uh, you know, raw shrimp. I accidentally, apparently, bought the cooked shrimp. And of course, most of the time you can tell that it's cooked if it has that pink color with. Some exception, of course, there's Argentine red shrimp, royal red shrimp, and they, of course, come pink. But most shrimp, if it's cooked, it's gonna have the pink color. So these are cooked. You know what? It's just gonna save us time. So come on down here. Uh, we have a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna assume this is olive oil there. A little bit of oil, and then we'll go straight over here for the Blackstone Crazy Cajun seasoning right there. Right there. Love that. And I'm gonna put this in here. We're gonna kinda rub it in with our shrimp like so. Now, you know what, I'm, I'm thinking a little bit of salt on there. CJ's here, by the way, today, folks. Yes, I am. Would you post-dust, you know, I'm making like a scampi here. Oh, yeah. Uh, would you post-dust it? Would, would you pre-dust it? Listen, there, it's a pre-situation. It's also a post-situation. Both? Yes. A lot of salt. Pre and post. All right, let's do it. Well, I wouldn't necessarily post-salt, but I would definitely post-dust. Well, now, I, would, I would pre, but yeah, post us with some Cajun at the very and, end. Yes, and I'll do a little black pepper. You know, again, not necessarily Cajun, I guess, but hey, I love black pepper, so it goes on pretty much anything I cook. Of course. And there we go. Right. Uh, we have a skillet preheating over here on the griddle top. Yes, we do. Uh, let's go ahead and get our, ooh, is this where we say, is it accoutrement? What is it? I don't have any clue. My side stuff, you know. Oh. So, in the, um, I've been studying up on my Cajun cooking, my Creole cooking. Turns out they call it, this, there I am with that knife again. The uh, trinity of Cajun cooking. Celery, uh -huh. onion, like uh -huh. white or yellow onion, and green bell pepper. Now I admit that I'm not a huge celery fan just because, oh boy, I'm gonna get in trouble for this. You know, I don't think it adds a ton, right? But there's nothing wrong with it. If I don't no, not like it, it, let's put it in there. So there it is, the trinity of Cajun cooking. Uh, celery, and um, we're just gonna, you know, I don't know, dice, mince. We'll see what we got going on here. There we go, going nice and small. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just making a little something something here that is gonna go in our rice. So very Cajun, yeah. I just got back from hanging out with Bruce. Yes, did he use celery? He uh, he did use celery. Okay. He did use onion. Okay. Uh, I don't know if he used bell pepper, but that does definitely seem like a, a Cajun Trinity situation. Shout out to Bruce, by the way. He's got it going on in the bayou. And look, be looking, folks, for some incredible videos coming up from CJ and from Nate and, of course, Bruce you know, and family down on the bayou. We, we caught some frogs and yeah. ate frog legs with Bruce uh, on the bayou. Were they good? Or Do you want me to tell you the truth? Yeah, tell me the truth. Okay, you're shoot ready. It, shoot it, tell me. Yeah, I'm never eating frog legs again. Really? Really. Okay, there yeah, you go. There, there it is. <laughs> but that's okay. Because they were so good, you don't want to... No, because Ethan, he ate the entire plate of oh, them. Oh, dude, they were so good. I, Ethan. Did you I, have hot sauce? I ate on? like 10 of them. No, it was just soy sauce cooked on for like a Way minute. too short amount of yeah. time. What? Yeah. Onion. Onion. There we go. All right, we're just going to, a little bit, I'm just doing, you know, like one or two portions here. So we'll, uh, min <laughs> I am the world's worst. I should rephrase that. I'm, I do it, I get the job done, but <laughs> you, you're not gonna put my chopping techniques on the Food Network. Hey dude, you're, you're <laughs> preaching to this choir over here, man. I'm, if, if Gordon Ramsay is watching. Which we all know he is. He watches all of your episodes and uh, mine. Yeah, we know he does. I'm gonna put that together. He and then of course critiques Nate and Betty's show. Now when it comes to the bell pepper, it seems there are three schools of thought to uh, oh, uh, skin okay. this cat, as okay. it were. A couple weeks ago, CJ just kind of blew our minds with his brand new technique. I saw a lady the other day on the Food Network, I forgot her name, and she was doing this method where she kind of started on the top and she kind of went like this. Check it out, look. Okay. Kind of going down. You kind of, you know, have to pick your lane there. Um, and, uh, you know, you can kind of supposedly, you know, miss the seeds. Well, See? Okay. You know, that's another way of doing so it. So the lady wasn't totally crazy? No, she wasn't. And then, of course, there's, a, there's other ways you can do this. I, I guess, grew up doing a much more crude way of doing that. And then we're going to mince them up. Here we go. So. Okay. 
Uh, same thing, we're just gonna put these in there. So. Now, are we gonna be throwing these directly on the griddle or is this going into like a saute pan? No, or? this will go right on the griddle and we're gonna mix this up with our rice. Again, hey, just like I said, when we filmed our Jafakin uh, chicken burger recipe, I'm not Cajun, so am, am I uh, Jafakin, Cajun? What am I? <laughs> What's the word? You're Jamaican or Cajun, you are both Neither. I'm neither. <laughs> All right, so um, let's uh, let's get this going over here to the griddle top. Over to the griddle top. So oh, on my it. set, we we do cook a lot on the 36 inch air fryer, uh, yeah. which is a fantastic uh, Blackstone unit. And uh, oh, I see that you have salt. Uh, is that salted or unsalted? Oh, by the way, we're uh, of course on the Blackstone. True Pro be using. Unsalt? Break breakstone. It almost looks oh. like the same, right? Oh, oh, okay. Breakstones, blackstone. Okay. So a little bit of butter. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a scampi esque. And when I think about scampi, I'm not a chef, but I think about butter. I think about butter and garlic. To me, that's a scampi. And then, of course, you know, lemon if you want to go with white wine or whatever. Right. We're going to put butter down here in my skillet. All right. You ready let's do for it. this? Yo, Yo I was born ready. Are you All right. Me? So a little butter in the skillet. And we've got some garlic somewhere over here. Now, are we chopping this? Are we mincing uh, this? We just, I just peeled it, and uh, yeah, I'm, you know, my personal is hey, I there's always... there's no pressure here. I'm yeah, just asking. I always kind of do a rough chop on mine. So, you know, not a whole clove, but nothing too small. That's right. kind of what I, I end like up that. with. Ready for this? Oh, I'm... Our, yep. Oh. Like I said earlier, our trinity, I guess, of... Yeah. Uh, Cajun cooking, a little bit of oil in there. Yes, sir. Now, are we gonna season this at all, or are we just gonna let it caramelize uh, and yeah, soft? We're, or? And, yeah, I'm gonna put rice in here. We're just gonna get this going here. I'm gonna try to keep a lot of the color in there. I don't wanna overcook it. Yep. You know, a little bit of a snap to it. I don't want it to get soggy. All right. So put that down here, and then immediately side that, we're gonna go in with the Uncle Ben's jasmine rice. Now, you can buy this in your grocery store. We buy it at Sam's Club in a case. Uh, it's pre-cooked, okay? I say this all the time, it says 90 seconds in the microwave and I get messages every week from people that say, Todd, I noticed you didn't put it in the microwave. You don't have to. You're you know, telling I, me that people message you on a weekly basis on a to weekly discuss basis. Yes. how we do our yes. pre-cooked rice. Yes, and so secretly, I don't get annoyed. And, but no, when you're on the griddle, obviously, this is gonna be a heat source. So it's gonna override your need to go in the microwave. Okay. People ask me, they ask me all the time, Todd, off camera, did you put it in the microwave? Because it says that. No, I didn't. I, I'm going straight on right, the griddle. All right, here's top. where the actual magic's taking yeah, place. So when, no microwave. So for me, fried rice, I just love using the Uncle Ben's. If you're not cooking for 50 people, it's just the perfect amount of rice. You know, you get those oils infused there and it works. Nice. Okay, so are we gonna season our rice at all or is it uh, just- Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Cajun seasoning in okay. there as well. And then later on, we're gonna squirt some other stuff in there. So meanwhile, we have a butter. Going over here at the butter. Now what's going in the butter now? Uh, hold on a second, what's going oh, in the butter? Lemon I'm juice, the gun. lemon juice, here we Jump go. The gun. Lemon. Oh, lemon. Lemons what going in. in here? Okay. I'm all over the place here. No, that's quite all right. So here we go, lemons going in. I guess I could use that hand technique here, kind of. Where you, you know, catch your catch, seeds. Yeah, if you get a seed in yeah. theory, you would catch it in your finger. Yeah. <laughs> in theory. In theory. In theory. But not in reality? Yeah. I don't know, it seems kind of reality, and there's a wasp flying, flying right by my head, and I'm gonna die. <laughs> and that's reality? My last yeah. meal's gonna be shrimp scampi. Uh, okay, so we have, uh, what do we have in there? We have a little bit of that, and then our parsley. Here we go, I'm gonna go with curly. You know, I know a lot of the chefs, use a flat leaf and we you know it does look better right in some pictures but i know growing up we used a lot of i didn't even know what flat leaf was when we grew up and we used a lot of uh curly parsley and chicken soup and whatnot okay. so i'm just going to put a little bit All right. of curly parsley in there going to kind of make my own again scampi s sauce okay i can see that those onions and peppers are looking just the way i want i'm going to immediately bring that rice in there and you can see the color starting to change the right. rice is dry you know a lot of people on social media uh, really getting bent out of shape on, on fried rice. How do you make it? Do you put it in the, uh, in the refrigerator? Do you let it sit out on the counter overnight? Again, it, I take a shortcut. I use Uncle Ben's and it's dry, it's ready to go, and it's perfect And it's delicious rice. and simple. Yeah. So that's what we're doing right here. And then I'm gonna grab that Cajun seasoning. Okay, yep. And sprinkle a little bit on top. We'll mix it up, okay. Uh, wow, we got some jumping rice here. Yes, Mexican jumping rice. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna go down with our shrimp over here. Now we're going uh, directly I'll, on. I'm gonna, or go, in... I'm gonna go directly on the griddle top. Um, I like if I can get color on it. You know, you put it in here, it's just gonna kind of sit in those juices. But I want to try to get some color on that. Okay. There we go. All right. And now we'll shrimp, go. if it's not cooked, it doesn't even take very long. But this is correct cooked. Yeah. So we're essentially warming it up. Is that right? Mm, yeah, and hopefully getting some color on there on the outside. Yeah, you know, instead of it just being all orange, hopefully you know, kind of get some black accents on there. Hopefully. All right. So 
So now we've got our rice warming. We've got our shrimp that's warming. Our butter doing its thing. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, by the way. You're helping me because as I do this, my mind is saying, "What have I forgotten?" And you're helping me. Out. Well, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm here. I'm here to help you, my friend. Oh my! It's a huge blessing to be here with Ethan. Ethan and CJ. Yes, so. sir. The good point is this is a super simple recipe. You know, I've done a lot of videos. You've probably seen several of me doing, you know, a regular shrimp scampi over the years, which is, you know, essentially this, but without the Cajun sauce um, and maybe like a uh, Chardonnay, a white wine in the butter at the end as well. So this is just a little bit different direction of that. We're using the Cajun sauce on there. Um, you know, we're throwing in the, the Trinity of the Cajun, a little more butter. Yep, uh, Trinity of the Cajun cooking at the end. We might dabble a little bit of uh, Ooh, a little crystal. another Let's homage to Bruce there. Yes, Cause, yes, cause he, he once told me crystal was the best. He did in fact do and that. Who am I to argue with him because he would know what he's talking about. Yep. Uh, can I get a fork and a spoon? Uh, if you do need a fork and a spoon, you unfortunately have to take a walk of shame. But it says Tovin Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going in? Or, or wait, oh, wait, oh, it's... Saved by... You have to use that giant spoon. That's the punishment. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Walk of shame, baby. Here. I got to take the walk of shame. There's people out there that would pay to take the walk of shame on CJ's set. Let's start selling that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ed, here's what you, you can see. Look, see, you get that, uh, the oil's in there. We're starting to get a little bit of color. Again, the shrimp's done. Hey, we're not worried about this. This isn't gonna be tough and chewy, folks. It's gonna be good. This isn't on a direct flame. It's just kind of sitting in that whole mixture there of oil and all that goodness. Rice is ready to go, by the way. Now, we're not in a pot, stock pot or anything, but I just found if you add a little bit of chicken stock, a little chicken broth, it's really nice. It's a little extra flavor to that rice. It's plain jasmine rice. And so we're just working with natural ingredients here, right? We have the oil that's on the griddle here, and we have the celery, the green bell pepper, and the onion. We're gonna go ahead and pull this. Dude, we're like, we're almost done. We're almost done. I mean, this is, if I wasn't talking to you guys and forgetting things yeah, here and doing the video. Yeah, like a five minute video. Yeah, five to seven minutes, super quick. So here we go, a little bit of rice. Okay. Like so, this is delicious, by the way. Yes. You wanna know my personal secret, if you're not cooking for a banquet, and you're cooking, you know, for, four or five, six people go with the Uncle Ben's. It's a great hack. They don't call Uncle Ben that? for no reason. I've never said that in the video. Hack. Oh. Huh. That is so lit. Lulz. <laughs> it is. I don't even know what that means. That. We're gonna put that in our spatula mat right there. Spatula mat always doubles as a rice catcher. What do you, why would you do that? I don't want it to burn. Okay. All right, come over here. So here, Look at that, that's what I'm talking about, CJ, right there. So see, the shrimp's already done, but man, we want to make that look absolutely perfect. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna pull it over here, put it in my little mixture of- I thought we were headed to the mat. <laughs> I thought we were heading to <laughs> Ethan's lap. <laughs> so, oh, uh, you never know what's gonna happen yeah. when you're in the Tobin zone. That's right. Um, so yeah, I suppose, you know, if you were uh, a tough dude, you could sit there and flip this, but I'm not a tough guy. We're just gonna mix it up. See that butter? Mm -mm, oh yeah, mm -mm, buddy. Mm -mm. that looks remarkable. Looks gorgeous. Okay, coming on over here. Look how beautiful that looks, by the way. Oh my God. I mean, so simple. Again, I almost feel silly when I make this because it can't be this simple, right? But it is, it is that simple. It We're just gonna put those simple. shrimp down there. Now I'm gonna rely on your guys' uh, great uh, photographic eye here. Tell me when to stop when we've had enough shrimp. Well, I'm gonna say, put a, put a couple more on there. Let's get a decent pile. One more. Centered. One more, or no? Yeah, one more. One right more? There. I, you know what, That's, that is a sufficient. And then we'll finish it up. Okay. With a little bit of that delicious butter sauce right yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. A little Gotta bit of that, that right there. garlic sauce. Now, if you want to. Oh, uh, we want to, buddy. <laughs> just like with anything else, I suppose you could take your lemon here mm -hmm. and, um, you know, decorate it. Maybe you could just squirt a little bit on there like so. Yeah. A little bit of lemon. Maybe, I don't know, if I had my druthers. Do I have my druthers? If, if you would like a druther or two. Yeah. I would maybe mm, put a few there. Oh, oh and hey. Look at there. The crystal. Hot sauce. Yes, sir. Again, an homage to Bruce. We just put a little bit of that on top. Oh, look at that. I'm suddenly on Blackstone Betty. Look at that plate. And oh boy, I hope I'm not going too far here. I'm getting no, excited. No, sir. There's no such I'm thing. just going to go really, really small here, trying not to chop my thumb off. That would be ideal. And uh, maybe just a little, a bit of that around the plate. Okay. And shall we pull this with a little bit of cake? It's all about plate presentation. That Cajun red Lastly, oh, a little bit is. of the Cajun. You ready for this? Oh, I was born This is red. what CJ calls post-dusting. Yes, sir. I am now officially a post-duster. Yeah. There we go. 
All right. That's all there guys, is to it. Guys. Right there, folks. There it is. Take a look at that. There it is. In all of its glory, I got to get in there. First of all, we're going to go for the top shrimp, the pyramid, the creme de la creme. Mm. <laughs> look at that shrimp. Look at that. <laughs> hey, CJ, you want that shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> Crystal's a gateway drug. Because oh. it just, I tasted it first, and then it just took me into the bayou. That's wow. what happened. Okay. All right. The rice is going to be perfect. I know it is. You can feel it in your fingers. It's such an amazing way to do your rice on the griddle. Pick up that Uncle Ben Jasmine, or maybe the Basmati. Either of that would uh, would probably work fine for that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Basma Basmati. Basmati. Mm. 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 I'm liking the celery in that, actually. Okay. So all in all, this was a good combination oh, of yeah. ingredients. I have the lemon in there. The parsley is nice. Okay. So pretty much next thing is you and mm. Bruce are just going to be on the bayou, right? Hanging out? I don't know. I wish. So Bruce, coming your way, maybe. Soon. We'll see. Okay. I don't think you necessarily have to be from the bayou to have a good time, right? So we're paying homage to our buddy Bruce, of course. Would all you right. eat one, CJ? Uh, of course not. Ethan, would you eat one? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> don't even ask. What do you think, he? Tasting good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. There you go. So don't take my word for it. Take Ethan's word for it, everybody. Absolutely delicious. I call it Cajun Shrimp Scampi. Make sure you're following us. Uh, get out there to BlackstoneProducts.com. That's where you follow us, <laughs> at uh, Facebook.com. And of course, Instagram and YouTube and whatever else we're up to. We have recipes or tips and tricks. We have a great monthly newsletter this summer, this year, all kinds of new products out that are gonna rock your world. And until next time, everybody, this is Todd. I'm saying praise the Lord and pass the Cajun Shrimp Scampi and rice.